We have just gotten the generator mounted to the rescue wagon uh, with a nice uh, a box that was welded up from a gentleman that I work with. And now what we need to do is we need to custom make a cable that goes from the rescue wagon to the generator that's not too long um, that we can use, that we can leave it plugged in all the time. So when we stop, we can just pull the, pull the cord, ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we need to go from right here over behind around the generator and into the front where it will mount to the front of the generator. Now what I used before was a an extension, a 30 amp extension cable from Walmart and I just cut one end and then fastened an end that actually connects into here. Those work pretty good because they're, they're a 10 gauge cable and they're fairly flexible, uh, easy to deal with. The one that came with this, I'll show you, is a six gauge and it's a 50 amp plug on the end. It's really heavy duty. It's, it's really too much to deal with for what we're pulling here. So what I did is I ordered another one from Amazon that is 10 feet long and I'll show you how we're gonna fashion that up. I measured it and I'll show you how we're gonna put that together. Okay, so I told you that I would show you the cable that came with the rescue wagon. It is a pretty massive heavy duty. It's got a 50 amp plug on the end, six gauge wire. Uh, it was a little too much for what I wanted to have with that. We're not pulling that much amperage. So I actually made a cable out of an extension, 30 amp extension cable that I had from my other camper. And what I did is I just cut off the end that was the extension and then put on this end to connect it to the rescue wagon. It's a nice flexible cable, it's 10 gauge. It's plenty, you can see I've got a 110 connector on the end of that right now, but this is actually a 30 amp plug. So what I did for the, uh, for the generator is I ordered a 10 foot cable like this and then uh, measured it out. I've cut it already, stripped that main wire, have the three wires exposed, I've placed this on so I can go ahead and wire this up. I'm gonna show you how to wire this up and then we'll go put it on the rescue wagon and see how it works. This is the end that we're gonna connect that will eventually go up inside. Um, it's actually got four holes and I only have three wires. So I'm gonna show you how to wire that so that it works correctly. First thing I'm gonna do is strip my wiring on here. And typically what I do is I push it in to see about how far it goes in and then I take it down just a little bit less than that and then I use this is really not the right size wire strippers but I very rarely deal with gauges this big and sometimes this heavier wire is a little harder to get around with but you don't want to cut through the wire but you want to make sure you get that insulation off so now I'm just going to repeat the process okay so as we wire these up most of it's self-explanatory green is going to go to green so I'm going to wire that in okay so green goes to green so put that in Tighten that in. And get that snug in there. Okay. Then white is going to go to white. Again, I'm going to make sure it's snug in there. And then black is actually going to go to red. And we'll snug that one up as well. And then what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to connect this little piece that holds it together. Okay, and that's good and snug. Now what I have to do is line this up correctly with the first sleeve, which is the plastic sleeve. So inside there's actually a hole that lines up with these screws. So what I'm going to do is try to line those up. Okay, so I've got it lined up. Now I'm just going to screw these uh, screws in, reef on them. And then this next piece just kind of slides in over top of everything and then allows us to screw it on to get a watertight seal. So now let's take it out to the rescue wagon and see if it's going to be the right length. Okay, and now I'm, I've just run this cable through. I'm just getting it connected up. I'm trying to make sure that this is in correctly and see where this is at so that I can get this plugged in there. So, here. So this works. What I'm going to have to do now is come in with some zip ties and just kind of zip tie it up uh, in different places to make sure that it holds it uh, where I want it and kind of keeps it out of the way. Um, because, you know, when, when we're doing things, we want to make sure that it's not getting snagged up or caught on something. But I am excited about, uh, this and working with it. So uh, I think we're good to go. It allows us to be free. Don't forget for more DIY tips, subscribe to our channel.